Look down at verse 10. It says, We were once not a people, but are now the people of God, who had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. In verse 9, whenever it said that we are a chosen generation, that word generation, in the Greek, that's a reference to a people group. It's a reference, it would be, you know, what we might refer to today as a race. It's interesting, considering that the church is not made up of a single race, but multiple races of people. He even says right there, you once were not a people, but now you are the people of God. That the thing that we have in common that defines who we are is God. In Christ, Galatians says, there's neither Jew nor Greek. Hey, it doesn't matter if you were of this race or that race. In Christ, you are one. This is one of those things with stuff that's going on in our culture and our society today that gets my blood pressure up, and I'm going to rant a little bit, and I'm going to try to stay pastoral and remember where I'm at in talking. The racial divides among people is meaningless as a point of identification. It doesn't matter. You are not white, you are not black, you are not Hispanic or Asian or Chinese or Irish or whatever. Especially in Christ. Maybe once upon a time, because society and culture said you were those things and how you should be defined, but that's your old life. We are now born again. You are in Christ, and that is your identification. You're not a white evangelical. You're a follower of Christ. Your whiteness has nothing to do with it. Don't let people tell you otherwise. We're identified by the mercy we have received and the faith that we have in Christ. And this idea that somehow people are supposed to be identified by the color of their skin is evil. Racism is evil. It is a sin. There's this current ideology in our culture that's taking over all over the place that wants to say, by whatever name it goes by, oh, we're for social justice. We're for racial justice. We're for equity. We're for racial reconciliation. And they use those nice words But in reality, the ideology they're pushing is that you are really defined by your skin and we're going to divide you up into groups and we're going to determine who gets favor and who doesn't based on their skin color. That is evil. When you see someone who looks different than you, they're not. They're a descendant of Adam just like you. They're created in the image of God, just like you. They struggle with sin and pride, just like you. If they're lost, they need the loving grace of Christ, just like you did. And if they are in Christ, they are a son and daughter of the King of kings and Lord of lords, just like you. Whatever cultural or racial or ethnic differences that we may have are superficial and they are meaningless in how you should view and treat other people. What we know is racism, the Bible calls partiality. Where you say, there's a group of people and there's a group of people, I'm going to treat someone with favor or disfavor based on which group they're in. It is a sin. There's only two groups of people. Those who are in Christ, and they're your brothers and sisters. They're your family that you treat with love and compassion and support, bearing one another's burdens, walking the path together. And then there's the people who don't know Christ. Sinners in need of grace, whom the Bible says that you are to treat with love and compassion, and kindness. Calling them to repentance and sharing with them the good news of God. But no matter what, 
you treat them with love and kindness and compassion, not with favoritism or contempt based on their race. Just don't know.